Hi right, guys, uh, this is going to kick off the tutorial stuff and I'm setting up a separate channel for this because there's going to be a lot of tutorials and there's going to be a lot of breakdown. Um, but if you're interested in tutorials, I'll keep an eye on this Matt Wilkie Co UK because um, this is where I'm going to be pushing most of them. The first one is about uh, Office 365 and how to get it for free. But also the fact is, do you actually need Office 365? Um, a lot of people don't realize that the majority of it is actually Office 2016, but on top of that, if you go and get your Office 2016 license in Europe, you will find that you're only paying somewhere between £10 and, as you can see here, $24.97. And in the US, for something similar, it's about $300. That was down to a legal uh, challenge in, in Europe. Uh, so that's something if you want Office 2016. Um, the whole 365 thing is based on a monthly subscription, which is currently $10, uh, $7 or 10 euros. Um, but you may find that the free web apps is actually better for you because you can like, you just sign in here, close this. Um, this is on the, the website products.office.com. But like, for example, you just click word, you do everything in the browser. And for most people, this is fine. As long as you've got a good internet connection, it's all you need. Uh, it's very quick to get to get familiar with. It's not as in depth as you would get with um, Office 365 or Office 2016. But at the same time, for writing a letter, doing some basic spreadsheet stuff, you have everything at your fingertips. The downside is it's 100% online. So I'll just make that aware to you. Um, next one is Office 365. If you're an a educational establishment, college, university, school, then you can get Office 365 for students for free. That has the, the basic version of Office 365, but also has some added benefits of class notebook for class management, online, unlimited online meetings, and intranet customization options. So if you're at college or whatever, I'd say get in touch with the administrator because if you can't just sign up with your own email, then they may already be able to get you signed up so you can have the, the free suite. Um, the next one is what they classify as a free 30-day trial. This is like Netflix when they give you a free period and at the end you, you end up with this reoccurring billing because when you sign up, it will ask you for your bank details, your PayPal, whatever. Um, and then when you forget to do it, it will automatically start billing you at the end of the cycle. Um, so be aware of that. And if you're terrible for that sort of thing, there is a fourth option which I recommend, which is another website. This is TechNet Evaluation Center, where you can have between 30 and 60 days via the TechNet, uh, TechNet um, evaluation process which won't involve you actually handing over any details because this is more designed for business and enterprise. As you can see here, it's Office 365 Pro Plus, uh, Project Professional, Visio Professional, Azure, a lot of other products. But I wanted to share this article because you know I'm running through it quite quick. But this is why I've written these because you can go through here and you can click on the, the various links which should be in here somewhere. Go to this web page, for example, that takes you to the web and mobile one. This one for the education. This one for the trial page. And this one for the tech net. So I know I talk pretty fast, which is why I've done the articles as, alongside these. But this is the first tutorial on this. And I just wanted to share it along with heading over to my website if you want to keep up to date with this stuff. Thanks for watching.